Hello students, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to study and learn poetry 5 of your English literature, that is prelude written by T.S. Eloise. So before we start moving into the text, let us see who T.S. Eloise is. T.S. Eloise is an American poet who was born to a permanent Boston Brahmin family. He was born on 26 September 1888 in St. Louis, Missouri, United States of America, and he died on 4 January 1965 at the age of 76 in Cannington, London, England. Um, T.S. Eloyd is a person who enjoys or who lives, uh, who have dual citizenship, an American citizenship until the year 1927 and British citizenship and British citizenship since 1927 till 1965 and he became a naturalized British citizen later on and by occupation T.S. Eloyd is a poet, a dramatist, literary critic and an editor as well. T.S. Eloyd is a poet who brought about a revolution in the 20th century English poetry. Um, now let us see what is prelude. Prelude means beginning of an event. So in this poem prelude, T.S. Eloyd gives a picture of the evening scene of a town and hints at the dullness and the cheerlessness of a modern industrial city. And in the second stanza, he describes the activities of the town dwellers in the morning and suggests the meaningless of the morning activities. And also this poetry, uh, preludes, uh, have two themes. The first theme is suffering. If you look at the poem, though no one seems to be complaining in preludes, the inhabitants of the poem, the people living in the town mentioned in that poem, are all suffering. They live in a rundown city and their living situations are impoverished. Their souls are filled with sordid images and material preoccupations and so they don't notice each other's humanity anymore. And the second theme is about time. Prelude jumps from night to morning, morning to midday, and it makes an even bigger jump back in time to evening. So no matter when the poem settles, the conclusion is the same. Life has always been rough. Humanity will always face a bleak time. And also uh, the contemporary evils of modernization and mankind's behavior are destroying the peaceful environment established in traditional times. This epitomized Eliot's poem throughout the poem that the new age of humanity is responsible for the damage done to the old tradition. So this poetry preludes uh, has an imagery. Imagery means like some uh, mental representation, something which you think and picture it. So the imagery of the poem is that the poet T.S. Eliot, he portrays the world as a dark and depressing place with no future. His imagery is very sharp and very clear. He uses a literal imagery, which is a clear description of what something is, so it can picture it in the mind. poetry imagery amandan hi tu hi tu hindan hi kipana umlo Ahung hung ding ni ko ayong kipan um chom lo ti portray aga abola aga abesa example la aga amana hiti poem hi azi hi ama in imagery aga amandan ilungela til picture aga kibol din amandan hi kiti set mihem kat mi kat sun asima hi la kiti set ding ti a hindi hi now let's move to the poem 
the first four lines of the poem. Let me read it out. The winter evening settles down with smell of steaks in passes ways. Six o'clock, the burn out ends of smoky days. So from this four line, the introductory lines of the poem, we can see that it is winter time and the city is very disgusting. And the smell of a steak dinner, steak, what is steak? Steak, S-T-E-A-K. Steak is uh, a piece of meat, usually of beef meat. So when you burn that steak, the air is filled with the smell of that cooking of uh, beef or meat. So, uh, the smell of the steak dinner is wafting or traveling through the streets where the poet uses an olfactory images. Olfactory imagery, I mean olfactory means uh, sense of fragrance. So, at 6 o'clock, when the time takes 6 o'clock, people stop sweating with their work and started traveling back to their home, traveling back to their destinations. And the poet here used a metaphor, a metaphor that is the burnout ends of a smoky days, to visualize or to picture the foggy dusk, D-U-S-K, the foggy dusk or evening, wrapping the day to an end. Just like that of a cigarette, just like that of the butt of a cigarette gently emitting flames. So when smokers smoke cigarette and when it comes they smoke till the butt, the ending part, and they leave it without smoking anymore and then that butt of a cigarette started emitting very dirty fumes. So the end of the day was not very much pleasing. So the poet he used a metaphor that is the burn out and not smoky days just to picture or visualize how dirty and disgusting uh, uh, the city is when a day comes to an end. Poetry align masaho ako na ga amuthe sa hila hiti poetry si pati es elo itin ep season na hiti city hi picture aga abol ham tiale palbilay hiin palbilay nila nila Palbilai nila ahiin city to hiti mihim ho ten na city to kida ata ako may tis ipisi ham tia hile lampi ni elta sa ho kika atun may sa kihon na mo ahi akivayin akivay din in atale city atmosphere to asunyan ni tis the poet poet hiti leka zi pa hin all factory imagery all factory imagery tike na til nam ga ahit tay na pa ho chi sens ko sa ihin hiti sens ko amang sa ihin hi ata le punggup ahong hi pa na hin hiti city a jiang mi ho su anato anawa ko nit ahong kilewin a in se ahin zon tawin hi hiti lai ba ya hin leka zi pa hin metaphor kiti metaphor kiti so til khat a mining ki bang chet hilaw te ka anaga aki mang tulem Pau lem ti tabang ka hiin. Hiti khat ko amang in the burn out and of small key days. Ipiti nga burn out and of small key days. Ani ko to huleng nunga ki hal hilaw to. Ama in tilaya ko na hi ipi avet sa agon ham te ahil. Ani ta ahong hi ko ahong zin pa na hiin. Hiti mihim ho tiyan na siti to anean in hi in dit. Ima ta ting set set lau tanop nop um lau nian de adu. Hiti metaphor aman lo na hi ipiti ham te alet. The burn out end of a smoky day ti so mi hem khanin beri a tiap ting na tiap chai lo a tobong apaya apay ting na hiti sigret abong ako na hon nian hu nam sit he tu mi hem in anna anom lo nam hundo atabang to hon atie ka ahi e. Hiti so mi hem ho anna to na ako na ahong kile a ni ko khan he ahong kichai ting le. Hiti ni la atu anet dan ju atien lo dan ju atie ka na hi e. Line 5 to 9. And now, a gusty sour wraps the grimy scraps of withered leaves above your feet, and newspapers from vacant lots, the sour bit. It was winter evening, and the cold evening atmosphere was made worse by the gusty rain. Gusty means having some force. The rain was very forceful and it made the winter evening atmosphere very bad, adding more gloomy effects to the atmosphere. Grimy means dirty, so the dirty scraps 
the piece, small pieces of papers, clothes, and all. The grimy scraps. The grimy scraps and the withered leaves. Withered leaves. As it was winter time, the leaves were dead and it was falling or and it was scattering, scattered all over all over the ground. So the scraps and the withered leaves were carried about by the gusty rain, and hitting the uh, hitting the feet of the person who were traveling on that street. So this image uh, speaks about the dirty environment of that modern industrial city. Now line 8 of the poem and newspapers from vacant lots. Vacant lots here implies the open parking spaces or open places in that, uh, in that surrounding. So people used to sit in that vacant space and carry on their on activities, read newspaper, and when evening comes, they return back home, leaving the newspaper behind. And the newspaper which were left behind is now scattered or carried around by the gusty uh, sour, making the environment or the surrounding of that city more uh, dirty. And the rain, it continuously keeps on raining line uh, go industrial city the dirty scrap palbilai hi ja chu thingna hoyong go ma pul hi in hi chi thilnen ho le thingna go pul ho chu go ha ju a hung ju a hung ju chun a pul le le in e lampi a che mi hem ho keng ho chu asune ne ata le line git na vacant lot ki ti chu vacant ati le mun ong lai mun ong lai ki sei na hi in mi ho hi hi chi mun ong lai a chun sun teng le hen ato ji win newspaper ho asim ji win ni tha a hung hi a in a jot teng le hi chi newspaper asim ho chu adal ha den ji win hi hi chi newspaper adal ha den ho chu go ha ju a hung ju teng le a pul le le ki ji in hi chi mun ong lai ho a hello the city environment jo ha su in asunen be ki ne Let's continue. Line 10 to 13. On broken blinds and chimney pots, and at the corner of the street, a lonely cab horse stims and stamps, and then the lighting of the lamps. The broken blinds, the broken windows here uh, symbolize poverty. And what is chimney pots? Chimney pots is a device of pipes through which smoke from the fireplace is let out and it is generally fixed on the roof so the broken blinds and chimney pots here narrates the tether the broken setting of the modern industrialized city and next at and at the corner of the street a lonely cab horse what is a cab horse a cab horse is a horse that draws cabs Carriers. So, in early 20th century in London, horse-drawn cabs were used as taxis. So, one cab horse was standing at one corner of the street, very lonely. Lonely here, uh, souls are uh, symbolize unpleasantness. The cab horse was standing there very unpleasant and very uncomfortable. The horse steams. The horse, uh, when it is breathing, steam comes out as it was very cold winter evening and the horse was stamping hitting the floor of the road because he is very impatient and very uncomfortable in the cold winter night beside that uh the mentioning the mentioning of a horse hair souls or gifts sign of hope and liveliness connecting the 
industrialized modern city to that of the traditional uh, life, traditional world back, uh, back then. But that liveliness or that new hope of new hope is quickly contradicted by the bright and new age light, new technology lights that is street lamps being lighted up. Situgol ho ako na gahed do tayo, ama sa pina broken blinds sila window sila edo ah uh, chutale chimney pot tayo so may kulong nende edo inchong aki mudo hindi ho hindi pibe sa aham tayo tulay kanga mihim ho inchendan ah uh, abet sa inhe til tilaya inchendan huy lego huy ho ting sisi na gam lego hindi de na anachen na anachen lai kango Sitabang sita lao tu lai kang mihim ho in chen lao chen dan. Aki su lao dan le atin lao dan abet sa in hi. Abanin kep horse kep kep iti ting le 20 century laya londana mi ho in chile vane le na naman u sakol kang talay hiti kang talay kaya pang sakol to kep horse kiti hi. Lampi ning kat na hin sako o hiti sakol kat so kipa alo tayin ay lo le nom sa lo tayin at dingin hindi at so ahay ting le zan palbi zan dami hindi at so husahe hong to ziin at at besi at so nom asahin at kiyang to he at at ziyang yati he and then the lighting of the lamps tilaya gol pat masalang pat masalaya at so gam lego ay hingsit sa na hello le til hi ay nature hi ay nading mga ano umhiin zan ang hi le tawain muntin asal ay umhiin tu tu kanto na dumzuya mihem bang change hi le ko ang zin ting le tawa zong hi sip tu light street lamps ho ang kiba ay nasyal mangzi tay na hi Okay, moving on to line 14 to 18, the second part of the poem. The morning sun comes to consciousness of faint, stale smells of beer from the sawdust trampled street with all its muddy feet that press to early coffee stands. Morning comes and it's not such a lovely morning. Nothing changed, nothing more cheerful. It's all the same. So in the morning, when a person wakes up, the first thing he comes to consciousness is the smell of steel beer which people drank the night before. So with this line, Eloit is describing the lake of freshness in the morning that a city dweller experiences. And the next thing on waking up to uh, waking up in the morning, the person experience is the traces of muddy sawdust footprints from the city inhabitants. What is sawdust trampled street? In those days, the lanes or the paths of London were often very muddy, and people used to spread sawdust all over to cover the mud. So this sawdust often gave out the smell of beer that drunkard had thrown upon it and then um, when morning comes the people the inhabitants of that city walks the street on by dirty feet muddying them all over the way to the coffee shop for, to drink their morning coffee this stanza talks about the root awakening with a smelly and a dirty morning and takes the face of a disgust that the city inhabitants experience in the morning. Angay na dola so jingka ahong hiya ahile. Thil zo se hi thaa, thil zo se hi fresh hiya, ima zo se hi athabi aki pat na hiin. Ahi wangin hi jalai po ima hiin ima thaa aki khiyal na oom po na hi. Mihem khat jan aki chol doa jingka ahong pahit. Thoa, ipiham conscious ahi masat pen, ahiat masat pen su ipiham tiya le. Azan masa a ana doan uzu, doan gimnam ho uzu, azan masa penin. Ata le, zan, zan na, buon lho, mi keng honung buon lho ma de du ho zu, amu u. They wake up to that consciousness. 
ipidinga bontho om hante ale hichilai phatna cho hichilai poem poem ji pa en anaji lai khanga hi london sit london town london city ang cho ana khang to be se lo bon atama tam ji hichi bonna ho su hol na dinga cho mi hem ho mi ho hen so das thing di ana sunji u hi e hichi mi pa cho jing ka ahung ki tho ting le hen hichi lampi nen de du cho keng ko bon ma then hu na chon achi ke nen Ajin ka se a abol ngay jing Ati in kofi Dukan ati in kofi Cha ka don ji in hi Hi ji sten za hin ipi Asay do nom hai aham ti ahe le Jing ka ta ahong so wang a cho Til ta ahong Hung um chom lo Ki khiel na ima cha um chom lo Mi hem ho in abol ngay yo Angay na dan na ati pipi jing pa o Ahoy lo pa cho asay do ahi e Next line, 19 to 23, the last stanza. With the other masquerades that time resumes, one thinks of all the hands that are raising dingy sets in a thousand furnace room. So the line reflects a strong idea by the use of the word masquerade. What is masquerade? Masquerade means various activities which are not meaningful. People living in that city, modern city, are engaged in various activities which they do out of habit and without their heart in it. They were just doing uh, as a habit or as a routine. Reasoning that if the same thing is always done every day, it is like time never passes and nothing really changes, but instead it becomes very boring that time resumes the various monotonous activities that people do as time progress the thing that people do it like a habit keep repeating it again and again it now becomes like very boring and they are doing it like they did it as time keeps on moving and in the next line one thinks of all the hands uh, all the activities in every home are the same in that city. There are no varieties and freshness. What is happening in its home, one can easily imagine. So here the poet, uh, Eliot, is stressing the dull, monotonous human activities in every household. And that are raising dingy seats. So in the morning, people are engaged in various routine activities. The dull movement of their hands throw shadows on the dirty walls. Dinzi means very dirty and dull. So Eloid here is showing that the city dwellers in the morning are engaged in the same routine, dull activities. And there is no newness, there is no freshness in their daily activities. And in a thousand furnished room, so in the innumerable, uncountable flats and rooms where people live, furnished here suggests artificial surrounding or rented rooms, something like that. The activities they carried out is all the same. So in in these last three lines, the poet imagines all of the people raising their dingy sets in their furnace room that is rented rooms implying that they are possibly also a morally degraded and cheap person to let in the morning light. So sets means curtains. Tak tega na ini je poin ni. Hiji city aja yang mih hot tu ipiti am tila. Ii ama hot na tak hot tu. Ii apa tu om lang hibe selau hewang aja. Ato ato aja ngo pati dungju ya. Ah til ta bal nom na yang om tu om lo. Alung tima tanom na je ahi tina dungju ato oh hidi lo hewang aja. Pat nung dungju ya ama hot ini je ato ato aja ngo hein. Hiji um ana to pa also pa chi dung zu ya ma ha na to ding do la ge lo a to hin mi dang ko ma ga chi a mi dang lung thim mi dang lung gel zong ke la hi lo le kho kho ma thil tha bol nom na lung thim zong i ma cha om lo 
মি খাচে সে হেলো হিচি সি তি আচেন হেম হিটিচে আমি আচে বই তাং দে দো নোট দ এক্সিস্টেন্স অফ আদার পিপল আইন বেল আইন হেঁ কমা ইটি কি আমি বই পি তো আমি হোসে সে বই পি তি পাচো আবে আবে সা লাইন খাচ দেট আর রেজিং দিন জি সে জিনকা আহং হি ফন হোচন আবিন আকো না নিশাহুই নিশা নিশা আলু থে নিচন দিন জি তিল আনেন সেট তিল কারটেন পর্দা তি হি কারটেন নেন হংদ হিচি কারটেন নেন চুন ইপি আবে আহম তিল মেহেম হোচন আচেন হোচন থি থা বল নোম লু থিম আনে ল আলু থিম পু পি ও থে হেল বল দিন আঙাই না বল বল পাইন আলু দিন পাচো আবে আহি The poem, Preludes, written by T.S. Eloyd, gives a picture of the evening scene of a town and hints at the dullness and the cheerlessness of a modern industrial city. And um, broadly speaking, it hints about the waste, W-A-S-T, waste and isolation of an urban modern city life.